Hey everybody, Steve Hernandez here back at it again with another video for you all. This one's going to be a Wilder Ranch State Park and the trail is going to be called Wilder Ridge Baldwin Alone Bluff and Old Cove Landing. That was a mouthful. If you guys are new here, my name is Steve Hernandez. I post videos here once a week, mainly about my reviews on hikes and the details about it. But I'm also going to be incorporating food just because I personally, I love food and I love to treat myself after that. And if anything that I said is interesting towards you or you like it, really appreciate a like a comment and subscribe hit the notification button you know you're not going to want to miss whenever i do my food reviews as well but without further ado let me get to the video again this is a wilder ranch state park the trail is called wilder ridge baldwin alone bluff and old cove landing and wait till the very end that's where i get into details of it how long it was my thoughts on it and if you like what you saw um, i can give you a quick breakdown of what you will experience if you do decide to do this hike well, I hope to see you at the end of the video. Enjoy it. you guys enjoyed that video so now let me give you a detailed breakdown of the hike i track all my hikes two ways one through my apple watch and one through the all trails app so first the all trails app it was 11.6 miles elevation gain was 1004 feet moving time four hours and 44 minutes total time five hours and four minutes calories burned 2468 according to my apple watch it was 11.5 miles elevation gain was 891 Total time, five hours and three minutes. Active calories, 1,262. And total calories, 1,827. Right off the bat, if I were to rate this at a five, I would rate this a four and a half. And the reason why is because of the distance. This was really, really long. So I would recommend this for beginner hikers. Recommend it for somebody who's done a good amount of hikes, probably like towards the nine mile range and is, is willing to push themselves. Um, because yeah, you will get really, really exhausted. Um, and now let me give you some quick tips uh, for this hike if you do plan on doing this one. 
So in the beginning, once you get there, if you get to use the All Trails app, which I highly recommend using, um, it will lead you to the main entrance. So you can pay for parking there, or if you want, right on the side, right before the entrance, um, you'll see on the freeway, there's kind of like a dirt road that you can actually park there for free. Um, so it's your choice, whether you, whatever you want to do, you can either go inside uh, the parking and pay for parking, designated parking areas, or you can park on the dirt road and you just have to cross the freeway real quick. I know it's kind of dangerous, but it's really, it's really not that dangerous. If you're going early enough, there's not that many cars. So you just kind of got to cross the freeway real quick. It's only like a one laner each way. And then you can get down in the beginning of the hike and you can begin it there. Um, there's a great overlook at 2.3 miles. So keep a lookout for that. You can kind of see like everything was really nice. Um, and in the beginning, I would say when I reached 4.3 miles, it flattened out. So before then it was a lot of uphill and downhill. So in the beginning, be prepared to just like randomly hit uphills and randomly hit downhills. Um, you might see some turkeys like I did. It was really great. I was like, oh, great. Right, there's some turkeys here. Um, so be prepared at least to hit the uphills and downhills. Um, also be careful because the trail at some point gets really, really narrow and there's a lot of bikers that use this trail as well. So you'll realize it too, just the, the walkway gets super short just for a bike, but you have to walk through it real quick. It's probably like a, a mile, mile walk that you're using the bike lane. So just be careful for, for sound and noises because they come in fast and sometimes you may not hear them if you had iphone or airpods or headphones or you're listening to music so i personally wouldn't use any music and just like enjoy the nature and then you can hear the bells because they they obviously don't want to run you over as well so it gives you a little bit of a warning on that um when you get to the beach so when you get to the beach i would say if you feel kind of uncomfortable with a lot of people around there, just keep walking and use the trail because there's a ton of places that you can take a picture with as well, kind of like overlooking the ocean. Um, so if you find one that you really like, say just keep walking on the trail and you'll find another one that's just as good. What else can I say about this? Um, yeah, again, I would say this is a four and a half out of five because of the distance. Uh, it was a lot and because I spent like an hour at the beach just kind of relaxing walking around um, My body just got cold once your body gets cold It's really difficult to heat it back up again just because I started hiking again So it was a little bit tough to do that all over again because I spent a whole hour and Kind of spending my one hour just kind of like laying down kind of like walking a little bit here and there and just enjoying myself made that last leg pretty difficult so if you are going to do this please please keep a notion of this and with i say with all my hikes please carry enough water i think you know two liters if you can carry more please do carry a snack snacks are really crucial um if you're trying to figure out what kind of snacks you want i like a protein cookie i like um eating that because it's really high in fiber and i usually eat that around probably the middle of my hikes because uh, I start getting hungry even though I kind of like eat a breakfast like I eat uh, overnight oats that I that I make uh, the night before I eat that in the morning and then when I'm hiking I'll drink water and then I'll eat my protein cookie and that protein cookie is a lifesaver honestly so highly recommend using that because usually in the middle of my hikes I start getting a little bit fatigued or I start getting hungrier hungry and then uh, that really really just kind of like stabilizes me and just allows me to keep on going and you know just stopping little eating just helps me use the energy to finish the hike um, also at the end of the hike or the beginning of the hike because it's a loop um, there are bathrooms so if you need to use a bathroom you have a bathroom there as well um, what else can I say about this this was probably yeah this is probably one of the more difficult hikes so I wouldn't again wouldn't recommend it for somebody who's just starting out, um, I would recommend it for somebody who's done eight plus mile hikes, nine plus mile hikes, um, because it's just long and it leads to the beach. Um, yeah, so if you guys reach to this point, I really appreciate it. Really appreciate it. Like, comment, and subscribe again. Also, go check out my other social media accounts, Steve Dr. Hernandez SJ. I post edited pictures there every week, pictures that you won't be able to see the video because obviously this is YouTube. Um, so you can go check that out as well because there's some beautiful pictures that I take. I'm surprised, honestly. Surprised what Apple cameras can do sometimes. Uh, but I appreciate you and I hope you have a great rest of your day.